Welcome to the big business room where big business happens. Listen, I think we buy low and sell high. No, 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 we just don't have the marketing budget for this. We just don't. Dan, I know you're sleeping with my wife. You get no input. None. Gosh, Samantha and HR is going to fire all of us. You really think so? Like, I just got this job. I just took out a mortgage on a house and my wife has, is pregnant with twins. Guys, we've been talking for two hours. How come nothing ever gets done in these big business meetings? You're all fired. All of you. Uh, you're fired. Alright. Talk to them about their... Oh, they... Hey guys, welcome to another episode of us trying to figure out what the we're doing with our lives. Exactly. Uh, there's going to be a video, a different video film today. I feel like this happens all the time. But um, someone here left. He left me. What? I didn't leave you. Yes, you did. I go and I asked mom, I was like, where's Jordan? I was like, oh, probably at the gym. She's like, no, I think he went to work. Yeah, I don't work out. Yeah, clearly. We can tell. What is this room exactly? This is a bar, obviously. This is a pretty cool room. Get spoken to people only see you when you up, then they notice you. Trying to be a legend, cray lines is quotable. Only <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. So, building off of last episode, the first episode, I talked about putting yourself out there. Yourself and now, Jeremy has been really whoring himself out. The last time I talked about putting yourself out there, meaning put what you do out there. And that is useful for when somebody's thinking like, oh, I need help with this. And then maybe they've seen you post something like, oh, I know this guy that does that. But now let's talk about something else. Let's talk about actually going after somebody. How to get a client. How to get a client. And it kind of varies depending on what you do, what your services are. But in Jeremy's case, my case, we're content creators and marketers. For the most part, there are some basics that, I mean, are pretty simple when it goes to getting a client, you know, like consistency and, you know. It's just, it's like repetition. So it's kind of like, right now, my company that I'm also building called Deliverable, we're trying to raise money from investors. And we've talked to, you know, lots of investors. It's, it's almost like, okay, like you're gonna take a hundred shots, one of them's gotta fall, one of them's going in. So all of all these meetings that we've had, one of them's gonna say yes. So it's a numbers game. Sales is the same way. The more people that you reach out to, now reaching out to, what does that mean? Saying, hey, buy my product, buy, buy my service, hey, do you need this? It's almost like when you're first starting off, you don't have a whole lot of leverage. Right? You don't have a whole lot of clout. You don't have a whole lot of uh, work in your portfolio unless you've just been doing projects on your own, which you kind of have. Yeah. But your projects have been more car related, it's just stuff you like to shoot, and then your personal videos. Yeah. But if you're a business owner that has nothing to do with cars, they won't be able to put it together. They'll just see a car video and be like, okay, cool, car video. So what? Sometimes. Maybe yeah. they could see it and be like, oh, I bet they could do something for my store. One strategy, and some people are very opposed to this, but offering a free video. And I'm not saying you have to do this with everybody, because at some point you should have a payment, some kind of some kind of you need to earn, you know, you need to be paid what you deserve. Yeah, exactly. But when you're first starting out, you have to prove yourself. So You've been reaching out to people, DMing them, saying, hey, can we work together? I uh, love your product. Like, tell them about the sweatshirt. Was it 8080? 80? So I reached out to, first I'll start from, I reached out to like 50, 40, 50 different uh, companies that make clothing lines. And um, there's this company, I don't know if you guys know about them, but they're called 8080 and so they do car giveaways, like they actually give away cars, but in order to be entered, you have to like buy merch. 
So I bought their merch and I was like, hey, why don't I just shoot a video of it? I reached out to them. I was like, hey, can I film a video for you guys? Um, if you guys like it, uh, you can post it on your page and like put it on my portfolio, something like that. You know, I'm doing it for free. And they said, yeah, if we like it, we'll definitely post it on our page and stuff. And right after this, check out the promo video that we made. Hopefully it'll be ready by 8080. Yeah, he's taking forever filming it. I don't know what's taking him so long. Okay, so another thing, like one of the most powerful forms of advertising and marketing yourself is referrals. It's word of mouth. So once you've, you know, you've sent a hundred messages to a hundred different people, once one of them says yes, you kill that project. You make it the best work you've ever done. And then you tell them, hey, please share this with everybody you know. Please tell anybody you know about my services and how pleased you were with what I delivered. For example, the first video I did for Toyota, did it completely for free. I just asked them, I was like, hey, you know, I, this is what I want to do. Can I film a video for the, of the Supra? And they were like, yeah. So they let me. That is without a doubt my best video I have ever done. And it was the first video I did for them. So now I'm doing a lot more projects for them because they see what I can do. So you want to make sure that that first project that you do is just And now you're amazing. getting paid. Yeah, and now I'm getting paid to do it. So. so he made a sacrifice of time. That's really all you're sacrificing is time yeah. and maybe a little bit of ego. But once you kill it, the money will come later. The money will come. Do what you love. Put yourself out there. The money will come later. Don't get discouraged. Peace. Don't get discouraged. You're going to be told no like 99 times before you get your first yes. But that first yes is going to we'll be everything. all the no's worth it. Exactly. Disposable Certain situations you ain't end up uncontrollable. All up in their head, I'll be so confused. I just rush.